May 4 has been set aside globally to commemorate the International Firefighters Day. It is a significant day in the lives of all firefighters as a day set aside not only to commemorate the death of fire firefighters which occurred in 1999 during the Australian wildfire, but to celebrate, commend and honor firefighters globally for their hard work, loyalty and dedication in saving lives and properties. In Ghana, some gallant firefighters, the late D.O. Sedo, Station Officer Isaac Newton, D.G.O. Hannah Yelson and others lost their lives tragically during the Gumko Takrade incident. The Eastern Regional Fire Command on Tuesday, May 4th, joined the rest of the world to mark the International Firefighters Day with a call on residents to assist the command reduce fire outbreaks. The Eastern Regional Fire Commander, Assistant Chief Fire Officer Jennifer Nayalekwe, who spoke to City News, touched on some fire statistics in the region. We, we've received 45 incidents in January, and then in February we had uh, 32 making a total of um, 77. We have we recorded electrical fires, four of them in January, and then two in February. Domestic, we recorded 23 in January, and then in February we recorded 19. Industrial fires, we didn't record any. According to statistics, 40 electrical cables and speeding by drivers on the highways are the leading causes of fire fatalities in the marketplaces, homes, and highways in the region. ACFO Jennifer Kwe called on the general public to help the service reduce fire-related fatalities by adhering to fire safety education and reporting outbreaks on time. In our homes, offices, churches, to prevent fire outbreaks. Um, domestically, I advise that before we leave the house, we should make sure we switch off all gadgets that were in use. In the market, we have been educating that after close of day, they should try and put everything off. Shops should also try and put everything off. Despite the selfless effort and willingness of personnel of the service in fighting fire, they are confronted with a number of difficulties. But ACFO Jennifer Kwe charged personnel to remain dedicated to their call and discharge their duties professionally. A minute silent was held to remember gallant officers who have died and personnel also demonstrated some firefighting techniques to commemorate the day.